Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. I think a pilot's performance of a landing pattern provides the best opportunity to evaluate a pilot's stick and rudder skills. There are many techniques and flying styles that characterize a pilot's landing pattern, but I think a good pilot can fly a landing pattern consistently. That means at a constant airspeed, a constant rate of descent, and free of power and trim adjustments. The most frequent mistake in flying an airplane to a landing is pilot over control. There is a tendency to be heavy-handed on the yoke, the stick, thereby varying airspeed and then chasing the airspeed with misuse of power and trim. Do not over control. Learn to be patient. Let the airplane come to you. Allow the airplane to fly the maneuver. Maintain a very light touch on the controls. Try flying hands off the stick. Many pilots fly a better approach without their hands on the controls. Remember, the airplane flies and the pilot conducts. Set the power correctly. Trim the airplane for the correct airspeed and let the airplane respond. It will fly a perfectly stable approach to a landing. Coordinate the turns and the airplane will remain stable and on the glide path. Misuse the rudder and the airplane will become unstable with pilot-induced changes in airspeed and rate of descent. Flying a consistent landing pattern is not easy. I am not surprised how many pilots have difficulty with this maneuver. An important factor is where the pilot looks. I have observed that many pilots are consistently glancing, if not staring, at the runway on all legs of the traffic pattern. I have ob observed that each time a pilot diverts his or her attention to the runway, they over control the airplane. Another trait of pilots flying a poor pattern is consistent and rapid swivel of the head while they look for traffic. Such a habit precludes maintaining the sight picture and safety is actually compromised because the human eye does not focus in that manner. Yet another habit of pilots flying a poor pattern is rubbernecking, trying to look around the low wing during a turn. Rubbernecking is a result of not looking before turning. The habit results in the most egregious failures to fly a stable approach. A key point, a pilot should know where to look and what to see in the landing pattern. Do not watch the runway, it's not going anywhere. Look for traffic entering the pattern as you watch the sight picture. Avoid rapid head swivel and rubbernecking through turns. Flying an approach to landing consistently, always the same, is not easy. A great stick and rudder pilot does not always fly an approach to landing by the numbers, but a great stick and rudder pilot can if he or she wants to. 
no excuses. If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, DylanAviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself, and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.